Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced, and you're listening to um, this Apache Iceberg 101 course. And in this video, we're going to be talking about uh, hard deletion. So the idea is like, when does the data actually get deleted? Okay, because the way these generally these table formats work is that you want to be able to time travel, go back in time uh, to see the data at a previous time. So that means the data can't necessarily be deleted. Um, so when you actually delete the data, you might um, that file that had the old version of the data still exists. Um, and the question is like, how do I make that disappear so I don't get in trouble um, when we're talking about like things like uh, sensitive customer information that might be protected by rules like GDPR. So it just depends on how you're handling your update. So if you're doing copy on write, it's not that hard, okay? Because every, again, every time you update a file and copy on write, the file gets rewritten. So in that case, all you really have to do once you once you have your data on copy on write is just expire the old snapshots so any snapshot from before you deleted the files uh well i mean if you do a, if you expire all snapshots from the deletion going back that should delete any files that refer to that data so that makes it pretty easy okay that's the nice thing about copy and write you know you expire your snapshots if something was deleted it is gone okay you generally probably want to do this periodically and like instead of saying okay hey I'm gonna go like expire snapshots every time something gets deleted um, you may want to um, one approach you can do is you can cre create like a delete log where there's like a, f a, f a field that's like true or false and says like to be deleted and then what you do is on a periodic basis you'll you can run a query that deletes all records that has has that flag on and then expire all snapshots from there going forward it just makes it Gives you a little bit of a cleaner break on when the deletion occurs instead of deleting things and then expiring snapshots okay now what about a merge on read table so the still problem here is that i may still need that data file so even though i've deleted the record that data file might still be read it and it's just getting reconciled against a delete file out of read so i can't really delete that data file so how is this going to work out for me Okay, so the best way to handle this is you're going to want to run compaction. You're going to want to create a new snapshot where you reconcile all those delete files and then you can expire the older snapshots to get rid of those files. Okay, but again, keep in mind, whenever you expire older snapshots, you are not going to be able to time travel to those older snapshots. So bottom line is you just have to do an extra step. You know, expiring snapshots is going to be enough. You're also going to want to run compaction before you expire snapshots. When you have a merge on read table again a lot of this can be made a lot more systematic if you add that sort of like delete flag so basically just have a field that says to be deleted and then on a set schedule delete all records where this flag is on uh, then run compaction expire snapshots they're cleaned away another option is instead of having to worry about whether the delete the files exist or not if they become literally inaccessible you can avoid, you know, technically the data is as good as deleted. And this can be done through encryption. So if the data is encrypted and you're using any kind of key service that tracks your encryption keys, you can do what's called key rotation. Okay, so where the data um, is associated with different keys. And again, there's different, with S3, these are some of the settings on Apache Iceberg tables you can set to set encryption. But the idea here is you can sit there and say, okay, Hey, all the data for this month is encrypted with this key. All the data for the next month is encrypted with this key. And let's say you want to drop all the data and make it all the data from December inaccessible. Uh, you can then drop that key. And since that encryption key has been dropped, those files aren't readable anymore because no one knows what the encryption key to read that data is any going forward. So you could you you could use some sort of key rotation type strategy. Okay. Um, so that is an option but bottom line is when you actually run the delete statement uh, or a delete query that would delete data the data is not yet deleted it won't get deleted until you actually expire snapshots um, and only if that data is no longer associated with the valid snapshot so that's why you might want to run the compaction for merge on read before you do the snapshot expiration okay but again always check on uh, support with your uh, particular engine of choice um, 
to figure out, hey, does this particular engine, uh, whatever tool that I'm using, support um, you know, key rotation and these kind of different features to, if I'm implementing this particular approach. And that is the end of the presentation, also the end of the course. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this and now know a lot more about Apache Iceberg and have a better understanding of like the features and some of the thought process of solving different problems. Um, and with that, again, there's still a lot more, so make sure you go join the Iceberg Slack community, uh, join the subsurface Slack community, all places where you can go ask questions, find answers, and kind of help, help get the assistance you need from the community. But with that, I'll see you all later.